Hi guys! It's August favourite time. I don't know where the year's gone. By the time you watch this, it'll be September. It will officially be spring here in South Africa, which I'm incredibly excited about. Um, I'm going away in six weeks, and I just I feel a little bit overwhelmed at the speed of which the year is taking us away. Uh, I'm going to start, jump straight in and start with hair care. Now, those of you that read the site know that I'm a huge fan of Moroccan oil. It's the only oil that I will use on my hair. It makes it soft and manageable, and it's just, my life is better with Moroccan oil in it. So I was super excited when they launched Moroccan Oil Smooth. Uh, it's, there are four products in the range. There is a smoothing cream and a mask, as well as the conditioner and the shampoo, which I'm going to chat about now. Um, it's a smoothing range, so it's not a straightening range. It's not going to make curly or wavy hair straight. It's just going to eliminate frizz and make your hair smoother. So basically, your hair, but better. Um, both the shampoo and the conditioner are sulfate, phosphate, and paraben-free, so are safe for color-treated hair. Uh, those of you with damaged hair also will find this really good because there's no damaging ingredients in it. It's going to keep your hair as healthy as possible while smoothing down the cuticle at the same time. Now, often with these, my hair is quite fine. I find that these smoothing um, ranges make my hair very heavy. It's like they're very heavy in, in silicon to make my hair like a slick. It kind of goes flat and I look like what a mess and it's just not enjoyable. These, however, are amazing. Um, they make my hair manageable and shiny. I haven't had to use as much of the traditional oil that I had to before. And yeah, I'm just loving these. They're not cheap but I feel that they're actually 100% worth the extra spend. Also, because they're good quality, you don't need to use as much as you would a drugstore shampoo or conditioner. I've done a full review on these over on the site, which I will link below so you guys can have a, a gander at everything that I think about the range. Next up, onto Body. And this is kind of an old favorite that I've refound this month, and it is Lush Grass Shower Gel. Um, I'm not going to lie, I think it's really an acquired kind of smell. It's It's got wheatgrass in it, so it smells a lot like wheatgrass, but a soapy wheatgrass. It's a bit odd. But I find the the um, the scent quite uplifting and invigorating, especially now that the weather's getting a little bit warmer in the mornings. I want something that'll freshen me up and wake me up for the day. Next on the body front is Environs Dermalac Lotion. And this is a moisturizer for anywhere on your body, but what's great about it is that it's got exfoliating properties. So if you are someone that struggles with those white bumps on the back of your arms or ingrowing hairs, it's not going to remove deep seated ingrown hairs, but if you get those superficial ones that you just want to pull out with a pin, this will help reduce that. Um, it's very liquid. I don't know if you can hear that. It's almost as liquid as water, so you're going to be quite careful pumping it up, but it leaves your skin super hydrated, amazingly soft, and you will, I promise you will notice a texture in your skin after using it for about a week. Um, a little goes a very long way because it's so liquid, and I've, I've just been loving it. I suffer a lot with razor burns and, and things like that, especially now getting into warmer weather, I'm shaving more than I would in winter, and this has been a lifesaver. It's another oldie, but a definite goodie. Uh, onto face now. And this, those of you that are overseas, you're probably not gonna have not gonna have heard of this. Um, it's a range called Lipidol, and it's a local South African brand that basically have a range of oils. So there's a there's a body oil, there's a shaving oil, there's a cleansing oil, there's an overnight oil, and a couple of others. I'm not quite sure of the others, but this is the cleansing oil, um, and it's just. Oh, it really, really is amazing. So what you do is you put a couple of drops in your hand, rub it into your face. I then use my Ferrer Luna Mini for its uh, the settings for two minutes, and then you kind of um, emulsify it with a little bit of warm water, and it really, it's amazing. It lifts all the skin, all the skin? No, it lifts all the dirt off your skin, and it leaves your skin feeling supple and soft, but clean at the same time. Because my skin is dry, I really don't like those harsh stripping cleansers, they just don't work for me. So I have to stick with oils and cream based cleansers, otherwise I just I break out and my skin gets angry and red and it's it's just not good. But this this I've really, really been loving. And I've had this now for about probably three months and I've used it every day. So you can see how little I've used. I'm about halfway. 
so it's really good value for money I think it was around a hundred grand it might have gone up since it launched but I think it's around a hundred bucks you really can't go wrong with that the other thing I've been loving on my face is something else I've, I've done a review on and it is the SkinCeuticals Resveratrol BE it's an overnight antioxidant treatment and it is extortionately expensive however like with the SkinCeuticals Hydrating B5, I've noticed such a marked improvement in my skin that I'd go out on a limb and say it is worth the, I stand corrected, I think it's two grand investment. It's got 1% pure resveratrol in it and I've done a, a, um, a blog post on this and resveratrol is basically a very strong antioxidant that is found mainly in the skins of red grapes, of red grapes and it's it's very difficult to stabilize in skincare and SkinCeuticals have managed to patent this formula that they managed to get 1% of very stable antioxidant onto your skin which is amazing news. Uh, now on to makeup. Um, this is a strange one because I used to love Max Factor's Aqualash which I'm not sure if you still have it in the States or in Europe but here in South Africa it was discontinued probably six years ago now and I'm still mourning the loss of it and I kind of went off Max Factor mascaras then because I never really forgave them for giving up my favorite waterproof mascara however I recently discovered this one and this is the masterpiece transform it's high impact volumizing mascara now I've mentioned before how much I dislike plastic ones and this one is the plastic ones to end all plastic ones however um, this little dent here this bit here is actually makes it completely pliable so which I don't know it's kind of I don't really know how to explain it you'd think that that would be worse because you wouldn't manage to coat the lashes but I'm wearing it today and I'm quite impressed it's one of the first mascaras actually funnily enough besides the Chanel one I spoke about last week that I don't need to brush through with a spoolie afterwards so I'm I'm quite impressed with it. The staying power is not amazing, but I am also used to waterproof mascara. I wear waterproof mascara basically every day. So any non-waterproof one, I'm gonna find a little lacking halfway through the day, but it's it's not bad. I've had it on for about four hours now, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Then, very, very exciting, Benefit is back in South Africa. This might not seem like big news to the rest of you, but for us, it's really, really exciting. After, I think it was a four-year hiatus, they are back with a bang, and this time they are in Edgar's. They are not in Woolworths anymore, which is great because for me, I always think of, when I think of um, beauty halls and things, I think of Edgar's in Red Square rather than Woolworths or Truewoods or Fashini. That might just be me, but I think that they've nailed the formula and they're just better at it than the rest. So I'm super excited that my beloved Benetton is back. Um, I'm wearing it on my cheeks today and it's just, people are scared of it, but it's actually just amazing. There is a funny story behind this. It was actually invented as a nipple tint for a burlesque dancer who wanted her nipples to be pinker. But anyway, that's besides the point. We, that's not what we use it for today, although you could. You could if you're into that kind of thing. The, the reason why people hate it is because it comes with a brush, like a nail polish brush. It's not scary, guys. People worry and they get upset because their fingers get stained. Well, you're just being silly. Rub it onto your cheeks and take your normal blush brush and just blend it in. It doesn't stain immediately and whatever brush strokes you have on there is the look you've got to deal with for the day. Just try it. Just, just try it. And actually the brush is really good for staining your lips as well. So guys, please, please, please just give Benetton a chance. A chance. I'm going to try and get hold of Lauren, Engel Lauren Engelbrecht, who is the training manager for Benefit, and I'm going to see if I can do a video with her where she shows us all how to use Benetton correctly without staining fingers and countertops and your animals and anyone else that might be in the area. It's a fun product to use, I promise, I promise. Um, my last beauty favourite is a relatively new discovery, and it's only just gone into store. Um, those of you that follow me on Instagram will probably know what this is. Um, those of you who don't, let me introduce you to Italian Summer Fig. This is part of the Voyage Fragrance Collection from the Body Shop. I've done a post on this as well. I will link that below as well. It is a 50ml de toilette. And basically, they've done a collection of fragrances inspired by different parts of the world. So there is Japanese Cherry Blossom, Fijian Water Lotus, 
Indian night jasmine and Moroccan mount, Moroccan Atlas Mountain Rose is the other one. So oh, it's so delicious. I've got I've had this for just over a week, I think. I have worn it every single day. Those of you that love love Diptyque's figure I can't remember the full name, but the fig the fig scent from Diptyque. This is a dead ringer for that and at a fraction of the price. This 50ml bottle I think is 275 rand. It's an absolute steal. The scent also for an eau de toilette lasts incredibly well. I'm very impressed with it. I'm very impressed with the body shop in general at the moment. By the time you guys see this there will be another post on the site for another phenomenal collection that is about to launch. Those of you in the States and in Europe will already have seen Spire of the World if I'm not mistaken. It's a 13 product strong incredible range there's over a hundred natural ingredients in the range not in each product but across the range there's a hundred natural ingredients sourced from various parts of the world they're doing amazing things and they're not stopping there there's so much more coming for the rest of the year um i also want to chat about the box each of the fragrances comes with a traditionally designed box from the area that it's from so this is a traditional italian design you can see it's quite venetian and quite ornate the Moroccan one is amazing. Um, yeah, Body Shop. Just go down to Body Shop and just have a squiz at what, what's going on down there. They're also repackaging their makeup into really modern, smart, sleek packaging. Very unlike Body Shop. It's like the company's done a whole turnaround. Um, they showed us a style video for the company, which they've told us we're not allowed to share. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask them again, because there are swear words in it. So I'm going to see if maybe I can block it out and still share it with you guys. It's just very cool. It's very funky. It's like new life has been breathed and in, breathed into the brand. Now, finally, it's not really a favorite as in a monthly favorite, but it's something that I was so, so excited about. Today is Saturday. This happened on Thursday. Hamley's launched in Cape Town. Um, there are two stores in Johannesburg and Cape Town, as I say, Cape Town launched on Thursday. And it is the finest toy store in the world, and it's now on my doorstep, and I'm so freaking excited. I love Hamleys. I used to go into the Regent Street store with my nan when I was little, and, yeah, I don't know. Going to the launch on Thursday was like transporting me back to Regent Street in English summers. And just, yeah, the memories that came back were just so amazing. I was literally like a kid in a toy shop and bought my nephew's bears, I got myself a bear, but my friend's kids bears, it's just the best place ever. If you guys are in Joburg or Cape Town, please try and get down there. I wouldn't recommend in the next kind of two weeks or so because it's still new and it was super busy. I stood in a queue for half an hour to pay, so it, it is pandemonium and it's crazy. So if you are lucky enough to be able to go during the week, do that, not in school holidays, but go down and just play. Those of you that are kind of the same age as me, they've got those, do you remember those cokies that you used to draw, like scribble and then draw over with another one and it became another colour? They've got those in there. That's all I'm going to say. Get down to Hamneys and oh, just go and play. You won't regret it, I promise. Uh, that's it for my favourites for this month. I will see you again soon with another video. Bye.